You talk about the money, and there is, of course, the $81 million that was raised by the campaign, by small donors in the first 24 hours after Biden dropped out of the race. It, it, it's really feeling like momentum has shifted. But I am wondering, Doug, what is your perspective on Vice President Harris's strengths and weaknesses from the messaging standpoint? You kind of talked about the differences between the two candidates and what they'll be talking about. But where is she especially strong and where is she struggling? I think she's tough. Um, and uh, I think that will come through her prosecutor background being able to talk about you know the prosecutor versus felon contrast, which I think is something you're going to hear more and more about. That's going to be, um, I think, a, a, a real uh, core theme of what she's going to be talking about. You know, and I think also the fact that um, you know she's she has uh, foreign policy experience, having been vice president. Um, I think she can connect with a lot of different um, groups, demographics, types of voters out there. Um, so those are all strengths. I don't really look. It's hard to say weaknesses. I think I would say, look, when you're the vice president, you've spent you know three and a half years talking about and promoting the president, right? So I think transitioning to talking about herself and and talking about her record um, is going to be something that uh, obviously has to happen. And I think you know you'll see her get more and more comfortable with it. But I imagine that's going to be a bit of a change, right? I mean. For the whole campaign, she's been talking about Joe Biden, what he's done as president, what he will do as president. And now that changed in a matter of days. And so now it's all about her talking about her vision and what she's going to do. And so, you know, that's going to take a little bit of an adjustment. But I from everything I've seen in the last, you know, three, four days, uh, she's up to it and she's got a compelling message. And I think she's got a compelling vision. So uh, I don't have any I don't have any expectations. She's not going to be able to nail that. But I imagine that will be something that will uh, take a bit of an adjustment. It's interesting. You talk about how she's been out there talking about President Joe Biden and not about herself. We're effectively in a position where the campaign has to introduce her or maybe reintroduce her. And they really only have 100 or so days to let the American people know who she is, to get to know each other, if you will, to use really colloquial terms. From your perspective as a communications expert, is it possible to reintroduce a candidate with this short amount of time? I think so. Um, it'll be, um, it's going to be, look, this is not going to be an easy campaign. No one should ever, no one should think that um, this is going to be a runaway on either side. It's going to be very close. Um, this race has been very close for months and months. Polling this week shows it's a nail biter, um, both nationally and in battleground states. But she has time. Look, she's raising, you mentioned the 80 million or whatever she raised in 24 hours. She's raised, I think, probably closer to 150 million now um, since that point, which is only four days later, which is, a fun, which is a spectacular amount of money on top of the cash on hand they already had. So. I fully expect that she's going to have the resources to tell her story and she's got allies out there who are going to help tell her story as well. So yeah, it's not a lot of time, but look, this is when people are starting to pay attention. So in many respects, um, that's good for her. And she's got a big moment coming up with the convention uh, where a lot of eyeballs are going to be watching that and she's going to be able to take advantage of that moment. And I would also say the last three or four days, the type of earned media that she's gotten it's hard to put a price tag on that. So that's been super helpful. And I expect, look, you know, the honeymoon is not, these honeymoon periods, they, they, they don't always last. So she's gonna, you know, start taking incoming from Republicans, we know that's coming. But um, she has a real important moment with the, the DNC and there is no RNC convention, right? To push back on whatever she, uh, however she portrays herself, which is, not good for Republicans. So that big moment uh, that exists right now is for her. And then, you know, you got, you've got three and a half months to tell your story, both um, on the ground and then in the airwaves and on social media. And so she can do it. I think she has, I think she has time and she's got a great team around her.